Roger Moore said that this enormous new stage had been named after producer Cubby Broccoli, not because of the size of his girth, but because of the size of his heart and wallet. Six months ago, it was a smoking wreck, but today, film crews, extras and co-star Christopher Walken were at work on the latest 007 blockbuster, A View to a Kill. The Pinewood set was rebuilt in just four and a half months after last summer's fire. At 378 feet long and 40 feet high, it is the biggest in the world. So was the star surprised at the speed of rebuilding? I was horrified that they did. I was looking forward to a long holiday. Prime Ministers rarely get this sort of attention. It's the 14th Bond movie to be made, and centred on a disused silver mine concerns appropriately evil efforts to corner the silicon chip market. Among the 007 conquests, Fiona Fullerton. I play a KGB agent, a Russian spy, who is an old flame of Bonds from many years ago. And they encounter each other again in San Francisco, and she sort of tries to manipulate him into... Uh, well, she's trying to double-cross him, basically, to get something from him. Roger says you encounter each other in the bath as well. There is one, one scene in which we sit in a jacuzzi together, yes. <laughs> Standing quietly behind the media circus were one million gallons of water waiting to flood the entire set. Will our hero then meet a watery death? I'm already underneath it because when all this flooding happens, I'm down a tunnel having a fight with Grace Jones. And eventually she takes her clothes off. But uh, <laughs> we're quick. Up until then, it's all right. And uh, then I come back as the water starts going down. And we come back in and we defuse all the really big bombs that again cause the earthquake. So will San Francisco tremble? Has silicon had its chips? And will Miss Jones be the only one to lose her clothing? These and other questions will be answered when James Bond next reaches the cinema screens in June. Lindsay Charlton at Pinewood Studios for Thames News.